Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are back to do my week 5 check-in for the month of May and close out my cash envelopes. Yay! And be done with this one and move on to June. Um, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing below. I consider a week Sunday through Saturday. So if there's five Sundays in a month, then I have a five week month. Um, I hope everybody's doing well this Saturday. I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, went and took care of all that stuff. Went to my doctor's appointment on Monday and stuff. So I'm still congested, but I've taken the medicine the way they told me to, and I'm not experiencing the dizziness like I was before. So let's talk. Stop talking about myself <laughs> and get on to what I spent this week. So May 31st. I spent ten dollars at the laundromat, or I broke a ten. Um, in groceries, I spent fifty-five dollars and eighty-eight cents. Household, fifteen twenty-seven. And so, what had happened there was I found this, and it's some kind of hand sanitizer, which you know you haven't been able to find. I needed something for my car, and I also, while I was looking for a calculator, found the bottles of it, so I got like two bottles to go into the house. Um, the way we've been doing it is, if we're at home, we wash our hands at home. We use the sink, we use soap and water like we're supposed to, but when we're away, that's when it gets a little iffy and all the touch points you can have, and especially with my kids still going to work every night. I wanted something extra and he also got some stuff from work so you know they're covered but I just like having a little extra so I'm good now personal I spent $13.82 and that was for my new calculator here and y'all these numbers let's let me show y'all some of these numbers oh you can see that big old zero can you see that I hope you can see that but man that's huge which you know I need I'm hoping y'all can see that it's hard for me to see but I'll be able to tell when I do the editing if I can see that or not but anywho I got something with bigger numbers so I can look at it and um, yeah and I was not I saw um, her courage to plan she has a pretty one and I was like, man, I want to pretty one now, but I'm not going to multiple stores because I just can't. <laughs> I don't care if they open up the city. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Um, I'm trying to keep my exposure very, very limited. Um, so let's get over here to the check-in space. And I'm going to fold this in half. So I already know I overspent in certain areas because of those purchases. With the food, there's something I found but I'm not sure. I don't remember what it was. It's the bad side of this thing of getting older. I can push certain things away. If it ain't important, I just leave it alone. <laughs> I don't even try to remember. But anywho, I don't know where I'm going to put this stuff. So anyway, I had $109. And then I spent... So I had $109. And I spent $55.88. So I should have $53.12. Yeah, I hope that y'all can see that. But I'm not going to play around with that thing all day. Ain't nobody got time for that. And I got to um, get ready so I can go to the bank. Or finish getting ready because I got to comb my hair. So this is my new money for June. And it still has a paper clip on there. So I'm going to put that back in here. And this is what was left for May. So it was 20, 40, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3. So I have $53 there. And that was left for June. And I've been trying to look at my numbers for this year um, in this budget planner. So I can see how I've been trending, how my spending patterns are. Because um, I think that would be interesting. I probably should just take everything and put it into like an Excel document. So for restaurants, I didn't spend anything. Excuse me, my voice is going out. 
I didn't spend anything, so I should have $40 left. And so 2040. This is not going to go into what I'm going to use to help pay debt. It's going to stay and roll over to the next month. Laundry, I had. I started out with 20. I spent 10. And I should have $10 left. My voice is clowning on me this morning, man. And so that's the $10. I never take this money out of here. I always let it uh, roll over. And so I'm going to add that to the 45 that I had. So now I have 55 in laundry for the month of June. But I never take the laundry money out and spend it. Ever, ever, ever. Restaurants, I'm only doing that because um, of everything that happened with the pandemic. And so if I'm not doing anything with my team, I shouldn't be at a restaurant. So this is my new household money here. Household, I started out with $17. So I had 17. I spent $15.27. So I should have one, but I have $2. So I had some change in there somewhere. So that I'm putting in with everything else. So as far as what rolls into the next budget, it's the $53 and the $2. These two stay in the cash envelopes and they just roll over. Personal, let me put this back. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. So, put that down because it's not like I got three hands. Um, this is my new personal money for the month of June. This is what I have left. So, personal, I started out with 53. I spent $13.82. I got this calculator in the soda. That's what it was. <laughs> ah, how my brain works. So I should have $39.18. So 20, 25, 30, 36, 37, 38, 39. So I have $39 left there. So that's what's left. So I'm going to put an asterisk on here so it makes it easier for you guys to know. Especially if you this is your first time seeing me do this. These categories that I put an asterisk by, they're the ones that's going to go get deposited back into my account and I'm going to use that to pay debt with. The goal for the month was 50. So to encourage me to save 50, what I do is I will excuse me, I'm bumbling and stumbling. I will go ahead and put it in the next month's month's budget by the 15th so that way i'm working hard to meet that goal because if not i'm liable to spend it i'll lose sight of what i'm supposed to be doing let me get this up here and i'll go and spend the money so i try to find little ways to kind of help me help myself So I have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. Somehow I feel like I didn't count that right, so I'm going to do it again. This is early. I think it's like 6. <laughs> no, it's 7. 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. Did I say 94 the first time? One more again. Because <laughs> I don't know what I said. Oh, God. Help me. I'm getting old. <sighs> well, we're all getting older, right? Every day. 20... 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 
85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. So it's definitely 94. I think I'm awake. So I'm going to put a paper clip on that. And I'll just take that by the bank. The bank is like one block over there. And since I stay in the house all the time, it's my one outage. And I'm taking it. One of the few times I actually get out. There. That way I remember. Now, so what does that mean as far as the monthly goals go? So for the month of May, I did meet that one goal saving $50 for my cash envelopes. I actually save 94. Now my weekly goals. <laughs> Here's where we have a problem. Um, groceries, the maximum I was supposed to have spent once was $50. I spent 55, so I didn't get that one. Restaurants, the maximum I was supposed to spend was nothing, and I didn't spend anything. Actually, my son picked up some Taco Bell. For me I think I'll use my personal money to buy him lunch next week household I was supposed to spend nothing and I bought hand sanitizer so I didn't get that one personal my max to spend was 30 and I spent 13 there and that is done but yeah I hope you all had a, a great week this has been a trying week for me um yeah we were supposed to be finding out if we were going back to work this week. And then one of the managers pulled something stupid while I was in the office. And I just politely sent them an email on Friday. And pulled out their little rules. To let them know. I don't know what that was. What his intentions were. But him walking up on me without his face mask. Grinning. I don't find that funny. And... I know we all have our beliefs, but he is not allowed, just like I am not allowed, to push his beliefs off, off onto me. He can keep boycotting for a haircut, but he's not going to do that. And so I will not return until they show me that those rules that they put in place are for everyone not just the individual contributors but for the managers too and the sad part was another manager was standing there when he did it and the look on that man's face so i know i wasn't the only one offended by his actions you know like he he's just been he's just been ugh. that's all i can say he's just been uh, i did pay the rent I pause because I'm like, did I pay the rent? <laughs> I did pay the rent. I think, yeah, because I did it on Saturday. Did it on Saturday. This is what's so bad is because of the allergy medicine. I'm taking the full dosage. It messes with my memory. And sometimes I can't remember. It takes me a while to remember stuff. And I'm always just like tired from taking it. But, um, yeah, we're done. So... I got six no spans this week, which these are going to count for June because they're in that calendar month. And I have accomplished my no spans for the month of May, but that is it for the cash envelopes. And I hope you all have a super fantastic um, Saturday. I'm going to run myself, I'm going to comb my hair and then see what time the bank actually opens and just get my happy self in that drive through drop this off. And zip on back home so I can answer comments for the week. I appreciate all of you who have been subscribing and all of your encouraging words. Because I want y'all to understand that, you know, I don't have an accountability partner really here. I mean, my sons, they push on me when they catch me doing stuff. It's what I show you guys here and the suggestions y'all give me that I actually use to make this process better for myself and for my household. And y'all have a great one. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.